that, uh, that uh, Justin Thomas was hurt on. I guess there's a handoff, 25 yard line. Um, oh. I guess Dallas kind of just like after just like pushed him and he fell back and hit his head. Paul Johnson called that a cheap shot. I was wondering when you guys looked at the film, what did you see on that? Uh, we thought he means it's option offense. He has the quarterback. I, you know, I kind of don't know if it was bang bang, but we have officials out there. If they felt like it was, you know, and then the officials out there just to protect the quarterback. Yeah. They protected the quarterback on the interception return, right? I mean, that's what they're out there for. So they, mm -hmm. they were there. I'm sure they would have made the call if they felt that way. Okay. Thanks. Um, well, I want to ask you about <laughs> Joe Yerby. Yeah. He almost had a thousand yards mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. You know, just it's, it's kind of been just steady, kind of steady, 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 chugging away, chugging away. So hopefully we can uh, keep that going. We got two ball games to see if we can get that done for them this season, and we, we, of course we'd like to get it done you know, Friday. And that's that's the goal, and we're going to strive to see if we can get that done. And if we can get that done, it'd be a pretty good day for us. Yeah. Um, as a as a <laughs> former, you know, and, and I guess current uh, tight ends coach, mm -hmm. um, is Njoku ahead of where you thought he'd be at this point? You know what? A, a little bit because they're during the season, kind of, kind of the freshman deal coming out of the freshman walk. Ah, this is long. This is tedious. This is the, and then he found a way to just kind of rebound and regrab himself and uh, and understand that that's just you know that's all a part of it. I told him just to keep running, you know, keep grinding through it. You know, you get a little sore, you get a little tired just in the middle of the season, and then but if you keep you know keep striding and keep going, you'll find out there's, there's a second wind behind this thing, and he and he's starting to catch it. Uh, I saw one guy in the room today. Um, D didn't know who it was, so nobody seemed to know who it was. Who was that that was held out today? Held out today? Yeah. Held out of practice? Yeah. yeah. Or at least oh. a guy in red today. Oh, yeah. Ryan Mace. Mace, thought yeah. so. Okay. Ryan Mace. So I thought. Mm -hmm. Had the long arms. So yeah. I <laughs> um, and then it was uh, Jamal or Rayshon was in yellow? Uh, Rayshon was in yellow. Rayshon. Yep. Okay. Do you expect either of those guys to miss the game? No. No, no. nobody's going to. I don't expect any of those guys to miss the game. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, with the offensive line, um, you know, what have you guys challenged them on this week? Well, just the, the nature of this game is that in, in any football game for us is, is hurricanes because we, we always want to run the ball. But uh, when you go on the road, uh, that's what you have to pack. You have to pack your run game with you and you have to pack your toughness. And, and, and that's where it starts. It starts up front uh, for the offensive line. And if you want to move the ball on the road and have success, it starts up front, whether it's pass protection or running the ball. But we want, to, we want to be able to put the ball on the ground and, and establish the run all the time as Hurricanes. That's what we love to do. It's what we're going to be. That's our trademark. It's who we are. So uh, they're always challenged, but they're, they're going to definitely be challenged in this game because that's what the other team likes to do, and, and we got to be ready to match that. After this, the guys have uh, finals after this game, mm -hmm. right? So yep. it's kind of a week of studies and stuff. Yeah, that's, they're, they're student athletes. So, yeah, that's, that's a part of it as well. We're going to go. Right now, we got their attention. We're keeping them locked in. We're gonna go up. We're gonna play that game, and then when we get back. You know, the, the, a critical piece to why they're here is academically. So they got to go to work on that. Larry, what I, you mentioned it before, but exactly on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. for, is it just a dinner you have? Do you have a little celebration? What do you guys do? So I think I think when we're when we're together um, as a team, we celebrate. You know, that time anyway. And when you're together like that, you you create that that atmosphere for them. Um, you, want them, you want them to have a sense of family and, and, and whatever that entails and wherever that goes, um, that will go because we always want it to be natural. I mean, th those are things that you don't ever want to take away from young people and is, is the opportunity to, to feel comfortable in that type of atmosphere. And, uh, but, you know, we got, we got, also got, we got business to handle here while we're here too. So it's kind of a, a mixed deal, but there will be a time that, you know, we give thanks and, and guys will have time to reflect on what they're thankful for. And you'll have a di like a turkey dinner the whole bit? Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. After this game, is it a concern, kind of keeping that focus, you know, knowing that you got a long ways for a bowl game, and there's a ton of stuff that's going on with this mm -hmm. program right now? Yeah. Is that a concern? Well, if you just lay out the things that are that are important to them, the things that they have to handle and what they control, uh, and, and kind of outline it for them and, and put together, and, you know, put together the plan for them and keep them focused and dialed into just that, uh, because they're obligated as students, and uh, and then we'll have you know some workouts and things like that. So just. Lining up the things that they control and keeping their and keeping their obligations focused is what we'll do with those guys. So I was going to say that in terms of the schedule, and you kind of touched on it. You'll have workouts. Will they still be meeting with position coaches and things like that? Uh, or not? Not early. Not or, early. Or, no, not early. We'll we'll kind of fill that that schedule out as as we get back and, and see what things are. But it will be it'd be mostly just time for them to, to be students and to be athletes. A little bit of time. It's not a whole lot of time, but you know it's a little time that they'll they'll obviously they'll deserve. It's been a long season.
Well, I was just going to ask you about one guy you spent a lot of time with earlier this year, Jerome Washington, sort mm -hmm. of a developmental year for mm -hmm. year for him. What excites you about his skills? What could he be ultimately? Yeah, he's he's another he's another guy that's just so I mean he's you know he's a freshman. He's a, he's a freshman, and sometimes you have to you have to remind yourself of that because he's such a mature kid. And he's you know, and he's really learning how to play the position. But when his when he flashes and his natural skill set comes through, you go, oh my god, he can be scary. Yeah. You know, he can be scary as he continues to learn and get more comfortable with being a a total tight end, not just a receiving tight end, but learning how to to play. You know, attached. You know, detached. And, and, Getting the feel for the game, defenses, and how he's going to be covering all those different things. So he's he's a work in progress, but he's he's definitely a a, a piece of clay worth molding. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving.